A North Carolina man is facing multiple charges, including kidnapping. He's accused of luring a 13-year-old girl out of her house and taking her to North Carolina. She was eventually found locked in a shed behind a house there. Fox 4's David Centenary here with more on how police tracked them down. David. Well, Steve, family members of the girl who was taken are thanking law enforcement tonight for finding her. They're also thanking community members who have been behind them since all of this happened. Fox 4 right now is choosing not to name that underage girl or her family because she is a reported victim of sexual assault. 34-year-old Jorge Camacho allegedly took a 13-year-old girl near her home in Dallas and committed multiple sex crimes against her before she was found locked in a shed more than 1,000 miles away on a property in North Carolina. The Davidson County Sheriff's Office says Camacho had been chatting with the teen through a social media platform. The content was consistent with grooming and enticement. Yes, so traffickers really prey on the everyday needs of teens and places where teens hang out, and a lot of times that's online. Bianca Davis is CEO of New Friends, New Life, a nonprofit which works to restore sexually exploited teen girls and more. The average age that a girl is trafficked here in the United States is 15 years old. The teen went missing on March 1st, according to her family. Video cameras in the area of the child's home in Dallas later identified a suspect vehicle belonging to Camacho. FBI Dallas, working with Dallas Police Department, notified law enforcement in North Carolina. Camacho was arrested Friday. The teen was found locked in the shed where Camacho lived. I'm not involved, whatever he's doing, because I don't know he's that kind of person, you know. Trope Sim lives at the home on the property. She says Camacho is her son's friend. Sim says she had been allowing Camacho to live in the shed for the past two years. I just took him in help him out. Camacho is charged with eight felonies, including abduction, restraint, human trafficking, statutory rape, and more. So although it's alarming, we are not surprised because this is how trafficking happens in our community. The child was medically evaluated and is now back in Texas. It still could have been even worse, even though that's hard to imagine. She could have gone missing for a long time or could have been killed. Additional charges are pending. Federal charges have not been ruled out. Right now, Camacho's bond is set at $1.25 million.